Oh, this lady stabbed her kids. She stabbed and killed her kids. And not only that, she has a twin. She has a twin who did the same damn thing. Shamaya Dayanshana Hall allegedly killed three of her five kids Friday. Texas Child Protective Services came to the home Friday, and an investigator made the decision to remove the children, according to the Ellis County Sheriff's Office. The caseworker called 911, but five minutes later, when Italy police officers arrived, three kids, a six-year-old boy and a twin five-year-old boy and girl, were dead. A four-year-old boy and 13-month-old girl were seriously wounded. Paul is the mother of all five kids. Three deceased victims were found inside the home. Friday, the Ellis County Sheriff's Office provided preliminary information, but it has not said what exactly led to the killings. Three children whose lives were taken and the two children who will never be the same. Yo, what up? Welcome to The Real Spill, man. We got a story out of Italy, Texas, man, where a young mother, 25-year-old Shemaya Hall, was accused of stabbing five of her children, killing three, okay? Now, this all happened in Italy, Texas, where CPS was called on Shamaya, okay? Somebody called CPS on Shamaya. I guess they seen the kids wasn't bathing, wasn't barely eating, wasn't taken care of, and somebody called CPS, all right? When CPS arrived at her house, okay? They had a conversation with her, all right? And they figured out that they didn't want those kids to be in that home, all right? I mean, the home was filthy. I mean, there's just shit everywhere. They wanted them kids out of the house. There wasn't bathing. They barely eaten and wasn't no food in that house, all right? So they were going to pull the kids out of the home. Now, Shemaya wasn't happy, okay? Somewhere she snapped. And she killed three of her children. Now, she stabbed all five. She has five kids. She stabbed all five, all right? Two of them are in critical condition right now due to their mother's stabbing. Now, CPS was there doing their investigation, and Samaya went off, okay? Just pulling a knife from the kitchen, stabbing her oldest, stabbing her youngest, and then stabbing the other children right in front of CPS. Of course, the CPS officer ran the hell up out of the house, got on the phone with the police, and called 911, okay? Where Samaya was later arrested. She basically threw the knife down, came out, and gave herself up and said, yeah, hey, take me to jail, all right? Not all, all right? Shemaya Hall has a sister by the name of Troy Shea Hall, okay? A twin sister. I mean, you can barely tell these two apart, all right? And check out what the twin sister did. This is a horrible occasion. Left this South Dallas street. They said that the mother of the child stabbed her. In disbelief Thursday. The six-year-old was then taken to Nary Hospital by DFR, where she died from her injuries. A six-year-old child was stabbed to death by her own mother just before 2 p.m., according to sources within Dallas police. A teen neighbor was also stabbed, but is in stable condition. The mother now in custody, but police haven't told us her name or the circumstances leading up to the stabbings. It's still ridiculous. Which has many in this area asking, why? It's still a kid. Four, whether she was four, six, whatever, kids. We're told an off-duty cop who lives on this street did intervene during the violence, detaining the mother. Police say he also rushed the child to a nearby fire station. Neighbors say that happened when paramedics took too long to arrive. Time is just you're calling in and you can't get through. Lamont Levels is a neighbor who called 911. He says he struggled to get someone on the other line. A spokesperson for DPD told us the department would be looking at that response. I think the city of Dallas should be ashamed of themselves today. The city started the day with 93 homicides for the year. At this time in 2020, there was just 84. Now, an innocent child. That's the sad part about all of this. Joins that horrific statistic in Dallas. Shamaya has a twin sister, Troy Shea, who was also accused of murdering, stabbing her child. She stabbed her seven-year-old, okay? Now, apparently, uh, her baby, her and her baby daddy got into it, and she forced her way into her baby daddy's house. Now, her baby daddy was actually living with another female who she thought 
was his girlfriend. And Troy Shea barged in with a knife, man, and almost killed his friend, okay, who he claimed that was his cousin, but she believed in her heart that it was somebody he was having sex with, all right, now, she gets eight years probation for this, all right, now, she should have been locked up then for this drama, she gets eight years probation, fast forward two years later, 2021, okay, she is accused of stabbing her seven-year-old 30 times, 30 times, okay, not only did she stab her seven-year-old, she also stabbed a neighbor who was her younger brother, she had a younger brother who was 16 years old, okay, and had a friend over at the time visiting, all right, and when Troy Shea went off and stabbed her daughter, she also stabbed him, okay, luckily he survived, he was able to get away, all right, and her brother and mom, who was also there, also got away, now, she was arrested, okay, and charged, and booked, and sentenced, they sent her to a mental institution for stabbing her seven-year-old child, and apparently, she was mentally unstable, she was mentally unstable to be in a regular prison with regular people so they decided to put her in a mental ward now it's crazy that her twin sister was having the same type of mental illness and it probably hit her a little bit later all right this girl definitely they, they both definitely was dealing with mental illness in their whole life i mean you can just tell their whole life they've been dealing with this and all of a sudden they snap okay and they snap on their own on their own children all right they snaps on their own children of course uh the seven-year-old uh was murdered who was the daughter of uh, troy shea she was murdered first and then of course her sister shamaya murdered three of her children this is definitely the reason why I am speaking up on mental health. We have we have four children that are no longer with us because their mothers were dealing with trauma, okay? Within themselves, trauma within their head, and they had no place probably to release that, to express that trauma, to heal themselves and they took it out on their children and it's a sad deal when are we going to learn that you know what it doesn't matter about guns it doesn't matter about any kind of weapons man if people are not mentally stable it's going to be a problem in america and after covid it's just getting worse and it's got worse and it got worse and it's getting worse all right and it seemed like that the only way out of this is more mental health professionals and also more mental health clinics, all right, in our neighborhoods, all right? We are desperate. We need more mental health, man. Congress needs to pass some kind of law to get this thing under control. I definitely want to say rest in peace to those kids who lost their lives and, uh, Look, man, some things need to change, man. Congress, get it together. But anyway, yo, thank you for joining The Real Spill. It's your boy, and I'm out of here. Later. Huh. Yo.